Hello people, this is Lots of Seven here, and this time we are doing some showdown live. I have not done anything YouTube related on this week, so I decided that maybe it's time for us to do some showdown live, so yeah. Anyway, so how have you fellows been? How have you fellows been indeed? I have been pretty busy myself with the school and all. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, it's, it can be a bit busy and uh, hectic to be in the business school and in the high school at the same time, so yeah. Anyway, anyway, I have made a new RU team, as you can see, and I just wanted to trade out of it. So yeah, I, I don't want to go into the details of the RU team, but I guess you can guess what I have got to run. Or maybe not, maybe not. But let's see how well I will perform with it. So let's look for a battle and see what will occur from that. So yeah, if we find a first battle and... Uh, Aerodactyl, Cincino, Among Us, Entei, Crocodile, no, the... The Gate or whatever, I don't know. Uh... Crocodile, the... I don't know. I don't really have illusion of Crocodile. I mean, Gator, the Federal Alligator, whatever. And then there's the uh, the Beetle, what I used to run, and the, the Galvantula. So, the possible lead is gonna possibly be this thing right over here. So, I'm just thinking about looking for Matilda second. So, yeah. Oh, uh, Matilda is a physical based thing, growth, and I will go with the power whip right off the bat and bring the Aerodactyl down to its sash, and that's all as brilliant as it starts me. <laughs> I'm just gonna go with Stone Rock, and I'm just gonna be got a grinning Aerodactyl one from one HP. So let's see what the opponent is gonna bring in now. So I'm Thinking that they might be considering bringing Among Us or Entei, not exactly sure what they are gonna bring in. Okay, they're gonna bring in Among Us, and I'm assuming that they are gonna go with the Sleep Powder. So I'm just gonna go and get Sport, and I'm gonna war off my taunt, and now I'm just gonna bring in my cooldown! My cooldown indeed! So yeah. Let's see what my opponent will prepare themselves with, and they're just gonna go with clear smog. For no reason I can think of. So, here's the thing. I get to go with a rapid spin right now. Getting rid of those hazards as the opponent is gonna go with HP fire, like it matters. So yeah, I mean, this thing is a specially defensive behemoth, and it can take pretty much all hits and deal 60% damage, freeze the mongoose, and it's gonna be frozen solid! Woo! That's pretty great, and I'm thinking they're gonna pull off the switch. Indeed, on Dread Day they do a Psycho Fuse Ray on, on the switch! Haha! <laughs> so yeah, this is gonna be all so brilliant, and now it's time to pull a switch to Centurion! The greatest check I have, though, for this entire hand! As it goes with the Stone Edge. So, here's my time for my little comeback. So, I'm thinking that my opponent might be pulling a switch onto something. Not exactly sure. So, I'm just gonna go with Thunderway. And then go with the Flapple. So, uh, 44 damage, 4 percent damage with the life. But I don't get the paralyzed. Woo! That's gonna be all so neat. Uh, so, I can now go with uh, Rocks or just Stone Edge. I know I can take another Flare Blitz, unless it crits, so I could just go with Slither my sneaky pickles around this day, I gotta get paralyzed. Axe is on all of my side, I mean, Axe is made all over back and forth, and yeah, so I'm just gonna take you out the Ente, and then they are just gonna forfeit on me. How unfortunate for them. Hmm. So yeah, that was just the first class of my team, but yeah. Let's continue on! Let's continue on with the battling! So yeah, uh, the RU first RU match is done, and let's see how well we will be doing after that! So yeah, triple choice score. So the idea behind this team is to have choice cards, the Diflosion, then, then I'm just gonna... It's just... Uh, it's just, uh, then I'm gonna have the choice card Diflusion, then a choice back Slokin Jefferson, and then choice Bandit Matilda too. 
So anyway, I'm just gonna think about this team being enhanced, and I'm assuming that they are gonna lead up with Among Us. Or Crossone doesn't really matter to me because I could just go with the power whip. Or earthquake, earthquake is should be a two shot, two, two shot on this thing, and it shouldn't really matter. It's just gonna leather the stealth rocks around, and it's gonna be a more physical defensive build. How unfortunate for me. So I'm not exactly sure what they're gonna bring in. If they're gonna bring in anything, they're just gonna go with Exorcist. I'm just gonna go with another earthquake with my opponent uh, quite nicely, in fact. And I assume that they would bring in a Mungus. Mungus, indeed. So yeah. Or Ente. Uh, if they bring, yeah, you know, they're just gonna bring in a Mungus. I'm just gonna go with Earthquake. Deal a fair bit amount of damage as they spore me right now so Matilda here is a perfect sleeve holder and all and I'm not exactly sure what they're gonna do so I'm just gonna bring my cure down and there's gonna be a lot of switch under their ante which is pretty nice on their behalf however I'm not exactly sure I could bring in the Jefferson and take that obvious flare blitz or I could bring in Centaurian and take that flare blitz as well but yeah, I guess I don't need my Valoria as much, even though it's a nice thing thing in above for the whatever the But I'm just gonna But they're just gonna bring in Among Us as I'm just, just gonna bring in Jefferson, so I'm just thinking gonna go with the just so choice specs side you can take the Among Us out with one hit, so that's that. That's no problem anymore! So yeah. The Magneton will be coming in, and... Hmm... I guess they might have Vault Switch or Substitute, not exactly sure, but I'm just gonna bring in my Matilda to check that thing out, and they do indeed carry the Substitute, as I assumed. So I'm just gonna go with Sleep Talk as they hit Empower Me, and I'm just gonna break the Substitute right over here with the Brick Break! So, I'm just thinking, okay, if they go with the hidden power right now, I get to take it out. And they're just gonna sub up and go with that, okay. And I wake up. Bloody hell. So, that is not good, that is not good. So, I'm just gonna bring my cooldown and deal with this Magneton right here and now. So, I'm just gonna take that super effective... Hidden power fire, I assume. So I'm just gonna recover a fair bit, a fair amount of HP with my cooldown as the Magneton. It will be going with the HP fire. It doesn't really matter to me because I can still pull off my rapid spin. I can still recover off the HP necessary. And this is a Star War. I am not possibly gonna win because it does carry the flash cannon. Unfortunately for me. So, it has Substitute, Hidden Power Fire, and Flash Cannon. So, hmm, I'm just gonna pull off my Rapid Spin right here. I'm, I don't wanna deal with this, this Stealth Rock, so I'm just gonna take that Thunderbolt, quite well in fact. And here I'm just thinking, okay, I could stall it out a bit and await them to go with the Flash Cannon once again. Or I could just pull a switch onto my Valoria and go with that. Yeah, let's go onto Valoria right here. As they're just gonna go with Thunderbolt, they're gonna deal me a fair bit amount of damage to me. And here I'm just gonna take the substitute, the Magneton out as it goes with the Thunderbolt. Because I didn't really, don't really want to deal with it. And that's that! So the left on what's left on my opponent's behalf is Entei, Hitmonlee, and Slow King. Looking at the team as it stands now, I would assume that they would bring in Hitmonlee next to fake out and go with that, but they bring in their strongest Pokemon, the Entei, as they might have assumed me to bring in uh, Matilda too, maybe, but I don't need my cooldown at the current point in time as it goes with the Flare Blitz! And that's all fine and gun dandy for my behalf. So here I'm thinking, okay, I could bring in my Jefferson right over here, and I probably will, and I will be, uh, hmm, I could go with the Scald, it should be able to hit everything quite hard, and I would assume that they would bring in the, I don't even know what item this thing has, it happens to have no item whatsoever, and yeah, I'm just... Kinda, kinda uh, surprised by this, as so I'm just gonna take that extreme speed, fairly nice, and just gonna retell it with Scald, and it's gonna leave, unfortunately for me. 
So I'm just gonna bring Matilda too and take that extreme speed even nicer, even more nicely. And I'm just gonna, I could just pull off some uh, regenerator juggling and get my Matilda back on pretty nice amount of HP. And if they switch, and uh, that is also nice for me. So they're just gonna keep on going with the extreme speed, and that is all fine and dandy on my behalf because I can just pull off some regenerator juggling and take him out. That way, here I'm just gonna go with the power whip, expecting them to switch out, but no, that doesn't happen, and they are just gonna go with the extreme speed, and that will be taking out my Matilda. Okay, slowking, slowking, slowking. Hmm, I'm just gonna pull a switch to Jefferson. I'm not exactly sure what this thing is gonna to go for. It's gonna go with a fire blast, but my Jefferson takes very nicely. And here I'm just gonna gonna trick my opponent and see what item they uh, would be having. Uh, they are just gonna scold and thunder wave me, not exactly sure why, and I'm just gonna trick my opponent as they keep on scolding me. So I'm just thinking, okay, I'm getting my leftovers, and that is all nice and dirty on my behalf, and now it's time for me to go with the signal beam on my opponent, because I can now hit it super effectively as opposed to hitting me regularly effectively. So I'm just gonna scold my opponent. Right here, and hoping for to get the burn, and I do quite nicely, in fact, and that's all fun and dandy on my behalf. So here I'm just gonna pull a little bit of regenerator juggling because I want to get Jefferson on a more amount of HP quicker, and I hope that they wouldn't burn me, and they don't. That's extremely nice on my behalf, and now I just get to go back into Jefferson and take that fire blast extremely nicely once again, and that's all fine and dandy on my behalf as well. So here's the thing, I'm just gonna go with the stab side chick because if they are gonna go with the smack of that's all not uh, all that great. So yeah, I guess it's, I'm just gonna want it to lower this back D with the side chick and I get what I want right off the bat and that's all brilliant and I'm just gonna go with the side chick once again. Uh, they are gonna crit me, doesn't really matter, I get paralyzed, doesn't really matter either. So I'm just gonna go with Signal Beam on this turn as they go with the Fire Blast and crit me. So I'm just gonna deal a fair bit amount of damage to the Slow King of the, my opponents. And yeah, I'm not exactly sure if they're just gonna pull off the slack off of their bat or just wanting to go with the regular move with the do. So I'm just gonna go with the Psychic once again. And uh, now, if they are gonna slack off this all, all this time, I can just go with the signal beam and lower their HP that way. I mean, they have to burn, they are gonna lose this stall war if they wanna go there. I was just expecting them to pull a switch on Hitmonlee, but I guess they just don't wanna risk it with my slow king. And uh, as they keep on slack offing, I can just go with the Psychic on this turn, expecting them to switch out, but no, they just stay in. I got that another spec D drop. What's extremely nice on my behalf because I can just keep on going with the Psychic and taking this bloody thing out. So the Stall War is over and I now have Jefferson versus Hitmonlee situation. So I'm expecting my opponent to carry the Fake Edge, quite possibly. But they have Endor, so they have some sort of berry. So I know that they can deal a fair bit amount of HP off from my Tentorian, but I'm just gonna paralyze my opponent, and this should be all fun and dandy on my behalf, and I'm just gonna go with the super power on this turn. Not really caring what this Inmonly would do, and then just take it out on the next turn. They are just gonna get the Lucha Berry boost, and yeah, Lucha Berry isn't that bad. I'm just gonna get Mach punched, and yeah. That's gonna be the end of that, but here's the thing, I'm just gonna bring in Jefferson, and Jefferson should be able to take any one solitary hit this thing wants to go for. Hence, I'm just gonna try to get away and take it out, and that, my ladies and gentlemen, will be the game! So yeah, I had to lower down my voice a bit because of one thing, my father wanted me to shut down a bit because of the later timing of my narration, and also, yeah. I apologize for that, but I just uh, don't want to. I just don't want to be monotonistic, and it's really not what I really enjoy because I just like want to go with the highest highs and the lowest lows. So yeah, my opponent wants to just stall this out, so I'm just gonna start off my timer and then just go with that. And yeah, the Ilomilo, you are. You could just 
let me win that. I mean, there is nothing you can do about it. So, yeah. Uh, we could have one more battle and then I should be finishing off with this showdown live right over here. So, yeah. Just a curious question. What do you do, guys? Think about, think of snakes. Yeah. I honestly have been thinking about getting one, but my father is kind of against the idea because we already have a cat and all, but... I personally like snakes. I personally think that they are very, very interesting animals. I mean, slithering around and then just having a, for example, uh, something like, let's say, constrictor boa, or I am, I'm more a thought about ball python, constricting around your hand, and yeah, I think it would be pretty cool. I think it would be nice to have such thing slithering around in my home, in a terrarium, and in my, in my hands as well. I have held a snake quite recently as well, so yeah. Look at my opponent's team, I'm thinking the layout part or Excel going with the possible lead, so I'm just gonna go with Centurion right off the bat as the opponent is gonna lead over with Excel on. So I'm just gonna miss, yeah, I'm gonna miss the focus blasters, I'm just gonna follow the with my opponent, quite nice indeed. So, here's the thing, I could stay and I could put on my stealth rocks and then just go with that, or... Hmm. Hmm. Well, the focus blast me sky it would have brought me down to my sturdy, but I would have got you paralyzed. Either way, it doesn't really matter on my behalf. I just get on my stealth rocks there. Just gonna go with the focus blast once again and miss. So, hmm. I could bring in Valoria right here and then just go with that as they are just gonna go with focus blast. That doesn't. Affect me at all, and I'm thinking that they might be switching out to something. I'm not exactly sure what, and I think Zangus could be a possibility. But yeah, the Hit Molly will be going with Endure, and yeah, I guess I'm just gonna Psychic it once again, and I'm just gonna go with Psychic and take it out. So yeah, here I'm just gonna go with the Shadow Ball as the Exilgorn will be going with the Yawn, huh? So that's pretty interesting, that's pretty interesting indeed. I'm just gonna bring Matilda and see what they're gonna do. They're gonna go with Bug Blast Predicted or they just wanted to go with the Bug Blast uh, for some odd reason and yeah. Bang! You saw you say bang, ha ha ha. So yeah, I'm just gonna bring in my Typhlosion and then just go with my also powerful Eruption and take it out. Take the Exilgar out. So Mrs. Kant. Minacanth will be coming in and taking in the... Okay, Hitmon Lee, quite obvious indeed. They are just gonna go with the obvious fake out. Okay, I could bring in Centurion and take that fake out with this. And just take that pretty nicely. And now it's time for me to bait out that high jump kick or close camp. I'm seeing what it's gonna have. And yes, I get that high jump kick miss, and that's all brilliant. And now it's time for me to go with the shadow ball once again. And yeah, they only it's gonna go with the blaze kick. Doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna go with the. Okay, they're just gonna go with Blaze Kick, huh? So they have High Jump Kick, Blaze Kick, and then they have Fake Out, so I would assume that they hey, have Mach Punch. But no, they're just gonna go with Blaze Kick, doesn't really matter on my behalf. And I'm just thinking, okay. Let's go with Signal Beam. Okay, they have Stone Edge. So I'm just gonna go with Signal Beam and showing them that I am more of an offensive build. Making them think that maybe they should bring in Lybird, indeed. So, um, if it goes with something, what I... If it goes with Dark Pulse, I can take... Not take that, because it was Dark Gem boosted. So, yeah, it doesn't really matter, though, because... Oh, yeah, this thing has Unburden, so, yeah. Hmm... It's specially based, so it should not be too... F too confusing to deal with, so I'm just gonna go with Confuse Ray myself as it goes with the Nasty Plot, and yeah, now the Lightbird will be the one getting hacked, so I'm just gonna go with the Ice Beam myself and deal, take it out actually! That's pretty nice, that's pretty nice indeed. So yeah, the Lightbird will be out of the picture right now, and yeah. So, okay, Zangus would probably coming in, and now they can actually show what it's gonna go for. I don't really think I might need this thing. Uh, maybe I would need it more than I need Centurion, but yeah, I guess. 
Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. I think it's just gonna go with some kind of normal type move or maybe dark type move. Doesn't really matter on my behalf there. Cause it's just gonna go with close combat. I don't really care too much about Centaurian at this point, so yeah, they're just gonna get their poison boost and such, so that doesn't matter either. So I'm just gonna go with super power on this certain uh, eventful turn, as they're just gonna go with the close combat once again. So, here's the question, do they have quick attack or not? That's my question, so here I'm thinking, okay, do they have quick attack or not? So, I'm thinking that I'm just gonna scout with Valoria and see if they have quick attack, and they do. So, that tells me one or two things. So, here I'm just thinking, okay, hmm. I could sack uh, Valoria here, or I could sack cooldown, but I'm just gonna either sack Valoria. So, I'm thinking that maybe they wanna go onto something to salvage their Zangus, perhaps. Not exactly sure. But they are gonna bring in Drift Flame and as I gonna go with Destiny, but that's all fine and dandy on my behalf. And I'm just gonna go with Shadow Ball of my own and deal a fair bit amount of to this Drift Flame as it calm minds up. That's quite unfortunate because I'm not just gonna take it out with my Shadow Balls. So yeah, that's gonna be the end of that Drift Flame. So because, yeah, that Drift Flame is now long gone. So yeah. Let's see, they're just gonna bring in Sceptile, and... Hmm... Is this thing, is thing acrobatics or not? I could just go... They're just gonna go with Leaf Storm. A Grass Gem Leaf Storm, so I'm thinking it's mixed. Okay. Okay, so... Let's see, if it's mixed, it doesn't matter to me all that much, because I can just now go with the Ice Beam. I mean, I'm thinking it will be mixed, and I will be taking that Acrobatics Retaliate with the Ice Beam, BUT! Oh, I get the freeze, and that will be taken out the Sceptile quite nicely. I mean, I'm axing this guy all over, and they should be getting frozen solid on this turn, so... Uh, yeah, I, I axe this guy, I axe this guy quite, quite much. The Axe thought otherwise, Gizzo! The Axe thought otherwise. The Axe, the axe thought otherwise indeed. Hmm. So yeah. The quick attack doesn't take me out, and yeah. Well, it all depends on this. Will the eruption be enough? And I hope that it will be. So yeah. I'm hoping that eruption would be enough. So yeah. Uh, the eruption should be enough even after the quick attack and yeah, it's gonna be enough and I will apologize but Just gonna say my oh Just gonna be silent man over here. So yeah, that will be bringing you a the The third live showdown battles and sorry about not being all as all as uh, enthusiastic as I am always because <laughs> The thing is that my father wanted me, me, me to be more quiet, so I will be more quiet, so yeah. That's quite unfortunate, quite unfortunate indeed. But yeah, you get some, you lose some. I live with my father, but I get free food, so it's something you a price I'm willing to pay. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for enjoying my narration, uh, like always. Leave a like, leave a like, <laughs> leave a like, leave a like, and leave a like. Okay, so leave a like, leave a comment, and like always, have a fine day! So yeah.